hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales person this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to write task script for the apis using postman so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side okay so if you don't know about the postman so before that uh, please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so if you don't know about the postman so you can learn from my playlist this postman like sales for integration tutorials under this playlist i have two videos about this get this as an id okay and this one how to execute a sql query so you can watch this video before this you know this video so you will be get to know more about the postman what is postman why we are using this postman right and how to get the access token and how to write the variables how to set up the you know environment collections everything you can learn from this integration video some small suggestion for you guys so please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new again so just you have to open your postman first so let me open my postman under this postman you have to configure and you have to connect this org with postman and before that let me tell you one thing here right so if you don't know about the postman so postman is a tool to test your apis based on your request so it can be like get post put pass delete right so mostly this kind of http verb we have so based on this http verb we can work on accordingly get post put pass delete right so based on this http verb we can make it our calls in our apis so it can be soap api or it can be rest api so right now i'm using rest api because this rest api in real time okay soap is the traditional one and soap always accept like xml body but in rest we can accept json as well as xml and it's a lightweight and it's a, you know like json always is lightweight a key value pair we can use the key value pair all right so just you have to do one thing first of all you have to create a request using get method and under this get method i just configured some custom you know like rest api like lead services i already created one apex class and rest apex class and i'm using the data rest apex class inside this postman but i want to test this api is working fine for me or not so how to test this api so there are so many ways to test it first way here you can see the body right we have like a status 200 or something like that there are so many status code if you want to learn this status code you can go ahead and search on the googles and you will be get to know more about the status code like 200 201 400 404 right based on your you know request it it can be anything based on your request right response maybe 200 201 or 400 right it's based on your you know like inputs so i just mention this one so i already configured this you know like this variable that is called instance url so here you can see this instance url right and services apex rest lead and lead services so i want to write some test script for this api so how to write that so first of all i want to send some request using this you know rest api so just click on this send request immediately you can see the status code 200 because it's a good response or successful response from the server and under the pretty you can check the body here right here you can see like name phone company id because i already mentioned in my backend code that's why you can see this kind of columns like id name phone and company right so how to write test script for this api very simple in this this uh, section you can see like header body prerequisite script test and setting just click on this tests under this this test you have to write some script so pm is a predefined variable right so pm dot you have to use different kinds of you know like uh, environments or variables or method so now you have to write like pm dot test under this test you have to write in single code or double code based on your requirement you can use it it's a string and just status code you can write like status code 200 because right now i'm getting 200 that's why i'm writing as a status code 200 right 
status code is 200 and after that you have to write one function under this function we can check our api response using pm dot response right dot dot to dot have have is a method here and dot status under here you have to pass that particular status because right now i'm getting 200 so this is the test script to write inside this test tab for this api just click on this send button and immediately you can see the successfully 200 and click on this test result once you click on this test result you can see the past all test pass status cost 200 suppose that uh, if uh, our api is failed suppose right now i'm not taking any kind of right api so let me remove it and let me test it so let's see the output immediately you can see the status code is 200 assertion fail and 404 because this url is, uh, we are not getting anywhere so here you can see url not longer exist because url is invalid that's why you can see our test is failed and it's showing like 404 so if you make it like you know, again correct url and let me send the request immediately you can see the status code 200 and it's passed so this is the way to test your api under this tests and you can write the test script for the particular apis so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys